Today is Saturday, February. Oh my gosh, it's my friend's birthday. Today's Saturday, February or March fourteenth. Um, happy birthday, Victoria. But um, <laughs> me and Katie are here. We're just going to get downstairs. We ate breakfast here. It's the same stuff as the other place, but got a little more. I don't know. It's fine. They had a fancy coffee maker, but I didn't partake in that. And um, yeah. We're gonna go on our flight. Well, what time is it? It's like nine o'clock, nine thirty, and we have our flight at one to Toronto, Canada, and then from Canada we'll be going to Chicago. So we're going home today, everybody. But it's been quite the trip. It's been wild. We're all scared we're gonna get it. I don't have a fever, so we're good. I don't have a cough. I'm good, and for now, hopefully, I don't ever get it. But um, yeah. That's really that. I don't know how much I can vlog today because it's just going to be us in a plane or the airport. But uh, hopefully it's enjoyable or I can just put this into the other day and that'll be that. So, yeah, welcome to the vlog. Hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're on the bus now and we have to ride with another group. They've been to Paris, so... That's why she looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> all right we uh got through all of our stuff and now we're waiting to board got some food because we're starving and then we'll be on our way to canada update we have a million people on this flight we're never gonna get on the flight so this is cool we she really said, are wondering how large this plane is because there's like so many doors. More people to scan it. Oh my gosh. There's like all these zones of the plane, doors on the plane. And what time is it? It's like close to the time, but. Why are we getting on plane time? <laughs> this is like longer than I thought it was gonna be. I think it's like eight hours, not like five, six, but um, whatever. We survived the flight. It was not fun at all. And I was able to sleep, but not comfortably. But this um, airport is very nice. Like, all right, we made it to Chicago finally. I almost didn't make it on the plane because I accidentally checked something and they weren't making the lines. I'll explain more later, but we're all tired. Oh, Maggie, is that your marker? <laughs> um, but we're here. Yeah, you have a problem with that? <laughs> all right, so I did not end the last vlog very well. So this is like filmed like a week later because this week's been weird and boring and hectic and in the same way. Now story time for how I almost got stuck in Canada. So basically once um, we got into Canada, then I, like you had to like, go in these kiosks and like scan your passport and like check if you had any food products from animals. Well, I thought it was just like any food in general, so I had candy, so I said yes to that. So then mine printed a big X on it and I was like, um, no one else had an X on theirs. So I was like, crap. So I tried again, it still had an X and I was like, well, I don't know what to do. Hopefully this isn't bad. And so then, um, like once we got through that then i asked the lady and she was like it's fine because i told her it was an accident and then after that we like scanned it again and it told you to go to like number two and number three and number two they're like a big room together but number two is like this area for like quarantine people basically from anyone like for anyone who is coming from like spain basically anywhere except uk and london were in that room and so we got to go to number three um and it was just like chaotic in there because there was a million people trying to get back into the u.s and so we like went through all these like this hallway and into another room and at that point then they had like different lines for us to go in and I was the only one in my group who had big X route so I was by myself in this one line and when we first got there it wasn't that many people um, but then it like filled up really quick and my group was like scattered throughout their line and so the whole time I was like looking where the last person was because I didn't want to get stuck so I like messaged one of my professors and I was like can you please wait for me and then I was standing there and I heard them say like they're not taking anyone with X's so I like started panicking because I was like I'm gonna get stuck here I'm not gonna get home but I was just so tired I didn't feel good and I just wanted to get home and so then I asked her and I told her like hey all my group is in that line and they, like most of them have already gone through like am I gonna get stuck and she was like well where's your professor and I was like okay she's over there and basically it was like you're not gonna get through you can wait for her so I started crying because I was like I want to go home and I felt bad for my professor to wait with me 
And so then we went back to that quarantine room trying to get self-service and no one was answering in our group so no one had any idea what was happening with us. And then my professor went to the bathroom, came back, and by the time, well, while she was in the bathroom, they like announced for all these quarantine people that they're gonna have a hotel room and like they're not gonna get out of here until like afternoon tomorrow. And I was like, oh my gosh. So then um, we like were standing there and a lady I talked to in the line area, she like comes back and she's like, I told someone about your situation, I think if you were to get through, come with me and we're like, so we go and we get to, to like a couple different people and they let us through finally and then we like run to our gate because we thought we were late i have no idea what time it was at this point um and so then <laughs> yeah we like go and we were fine like our flight hadn't left yet but when we got there everyone started clapping for us because we got through um so that was really scary then basically like once we got into chicago there was nothing we weren't screened or tested for the virus like nothing happened and so we like just left and went back to school and when we were like three minutes from the school we see all these cops like along the highway which was really weird then we're like going over a little bridge and the bus driver i was right in the front he's like what in the world and i like look over and there is like a semi truck coming f like straight at us on our side of the road and we're like what in the world and then it finally like moves and goes over the median back into his lane and we're all like okay but it was snowing when we gave came back to chicago and so I think like the bridge was slippery because there was like a car accident so that's why the truck went over but we were all like if the truck if we get hit like now we made it this far and then th something's gonna happen but it didn't um so yeah we got back to school and then like some of us went and got pizza and hung out that was really fun and then we stayed the night and we went home the next day then I was quarantined at my dad's for a week and now I'm back at my mom's still have a ton of crap to put away just stuck here in the basement it's not horrible right now but it might get kind of lonely especially because like my family's upstairs and they can't really see me unless they give me food so so yeah that's kind of the end of my whole ireland trip that turned into you know ireland and london and um canada i guess if you count that but I mean, it was great. Like, that was my first time ever flying. And I got to go to, like, so many different places and fly a lot of different flights, which, like, whatever. But I won't forget this. And especially now because we're experiencing this pandemic thing. So, um, hope you enjoyed my vlogs. And...